Welcome to the Chin Check series. Today's episode, we're going to talk about the Chin or Joe, the juggernaut Joyce. Let's get into it. So we got Joe Joyce, man. He hasn't had that many pro fights. Um, It's crazy because he's 36, man. Joe Joyce is like right outside. I think he's past his prime now. I think he's he's he's. He's past it, but the dude is it's almost like he's fighting in it. Even though he's a little older, he still has the stamina like a fucking, you know, like like one of these young dudes out here. It's amazing, though, when you watch, see how big Joe Joyce actually is and to see how, how, how much of an engine that dude has is incredible. You know, I mean, you know, you can attribute that to a lot of the things you do outside of the ring. The dude is a, you know, he... He knows how to do like a lot of exercising routines and he does other things, other kind of like other activities he do outside the ring to keep him, I guess, in, you know, keep his engine going, bro. Because the dude, he's he's a monster. He's a machine, bro. He really is. For as slow as he is, he's he's a he's a machine, bro. A scary dude. Very scary, man. The the punches this dude be taking is just is crazy. But Let's get into his record. It's 13 wins, no losses, 12 wins coming by way of knockout. So Joe Joyce has one of the highest knockout ratios in boxing at 92%. So he's knocked everybody out besides one person. He has great punching power. And it doesn't seem like it, you know, he's very slow. He's slow. He's, I mean, when you watch Joe Joyce punch, it's like, okay, it's like almost like a... a I can't explain it. It's like a, like, you know, you see those movies where they slow everything down and like, like that. <laughs> he reminds me of one of those punches, but he hits hard, extremely hard, just like George Foreman, one of those kind of punches. He got one of those punching powers where it's like a thud, like one of them thudding motherfuckers, man. I would not want to get hit by Joe Joyce at all, but look at his record. Um, he beat, he knocked Carlos, uh, Carlos Takam out. Uh, he knocked out Daniel Dubois. They stopped that fight. Uh, well, actually, Daniel, I guess he, he, he the one that stopped it. He stuck, he kneeled out on that fight. Uh, let's see some punches that he's faced. So he's faced, let's, let's, let's look at Carlos, Carlos Takam. Uh, he's an older fighter. He has some decent power, you know, 28 knockouts out of 39 wins. So he has power, 60% knockout ratio for Carlos Takam. The older dude, man, yeah, he got him up out of there. Uh, let's go check out. Dubois has power, too. He's a younger dude, still up and coming. 16, win, 16 knockouts from 17 wins. And he got him out of there. Busted up his eye real bad, broke his eye socket, fractured the dude's eye socket. I had thought that Joe Joyce just fucked up his eye. I did not know Joe Joyce fractured Daniel Dubois' eye socket, dude. Remember, I kept saying about these damn these dudes from over there, man, in UK and all of that. They they got weak eyes, bro. I don't understand this shit. They just got weak eye sockets or something. But he broke his eye socket, dude. That's power. Dudes with power do that. Dudes with power do that, man. You know what I mean? Errol Spence, Triple G, you know what I mean? It's, it's Car Canelo broke fucking um, Billy Joe's eye. So, yeah, it's crazy. Um, Michael Wallace, let me, who, I don't even know who this dude is. Um, 22 wins, 15 of those wins by knockout. So, that's, you know, pretty... That's subpar punching power. He got some kind of pop to his punch, though. Uh, I've never seen that fight. I got to go back and probably watch it. I doubt Joe Joyce was hurting that fight because I've never seen Joe Joyce hurt, bro. I've never seen him hurt. I've never seen him hurt. So, remains to Vern. He got some good power. I just, he, he, he didn't even hurt Joe Joyce. None of these dudes I'm talking about here that Joe Joyce has starched. He has knocked them all out. They've, they've... I've never seen Joe Joyce. 
dancing all over the ring, noodle legged. If you guys know any fights, I can go back and dig, but it'll take a while. But I've like his recent fights, I've seen them all. I ain't seen him hurt, bro. I ain't seen him hurt. So that's why they call him the juggernaut. Because you know the juggernaut, the um the comic book villain, he has that big ass iron fucking thing on his head. So it's kinda like Joe Joyce has a fucking that they, you know, he's known for that, for he's having an iron fucking chin. The dude, I watched him get punched by some things. And it's it's almost like you punching on 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 granite. I, I watched this dude get hit and take some shots and just like keep coming, bro. Keep coming. And that's what's scary about Joe Joyce. He can take these punches. And then this motherfucker got heavy hands. He coming at you. So it's like, bro, what the fuck can I do to this, bro? What what can I do to this guy to stop him from coming at me, man? And, you know, there wouldn't be, it's not many dudes. If you look at the dude, the level of comp. These dudes were, these dudes here was good punches. I say from, you know, uh, this guy here, uh, Brian Jennings. I didn't really check his resume real quick. Uh, he's, uh, it says here, he has 14 wins by 20, 14 knockouts out of 24 wins. So he has like subpar punching power. So from these guys, Mike, Mike Wallace, Carlos Takam, Daniel Dubois, Bermain Stavern. There might have been some other dudes early on, um, that also had some power, you know, Linroy Thomas, you know, stuff like that, uh. Lenroy Thomas, he had uh he was a Jamaican dude. I remember that fight, man. He um he wasn't really known for his power either. That was a fucking um a guy that when you saw his neck, I was looking at his neck in that fight. I'm like, oh this dude right here, he he gonna motherfucking he gonna he gonna give Joe Joyce the business. I remember that fight. That was way back when I first started really watching Joe Joyce. And it didn't turn out like that. He got knocked out in the second round. I remember that one, man. I remember that fight. That was like in 2018. I really started watching Joe Joyce. You know, but Joe Joyce, he's faced a few power. He hasn't faced that many. So, but the dudes that he did face were, were, you know, up and comers with power. Old school dudes with power. Wasn't really nobody that, you know, some modern day punchers, you know, as far as like that's experience, like Deontay Wilder, uh, Luis Ortiz, uh, I wonder, or uh, Anthony Joshua, those dudes got power and they're more upscale and shit like that. I wonder how he would face against them. I'm not sure if if he would be able to take a punch from Wilder. That would be good to see if we if they ever did fight. He probably could though. Well, we don't know, but. Um, from far as what I can see, uh, his chin is incredible. Uh, this one is it was kind of hard for me to to kind of um, uh, give a report card on because knowing how strong his chin is, I, mean, I never seen him hurt. And you know, given the competition he's faced versus the competition that I would love to see him face that have that are bigger punches like Luis Ortiz, Deontay Wilder, you know, Anthony Joshua. Shit, even Dillian White, you know, I would love to see that. So, you know, but just judging by off the eye con, just off of eye, just off the eye test, seeing how how many dudes I, I actually seen him get punched by, and how many punches I seen him take, I would have to give Joe Joyce Chin a A. I can't give him a world class stamp yet because I need to see him fight some world class dudes like Wilder and like you know some higher punchers like Luis Ortiz and Anthony Joshua. He fights those dudes and takes those punches from them and then I stamp him with the world class. But right now, I have to give Joe Joyce an A-level chin. Let me know what you guys think about the chin of Joe the Juggernaut Joyce. Drop a comment, like, and subscribe. I'll catch y'all later.